Hi guys, so I am doing my very first ever cooking demo. A lot of you asked for um, my famous walnut basil rice casserole recipe and I'm gonna post it afterwards, but um, today I'm gonna show you actually how to make it and how quick it is and just how beautiful. I wish you could smell this, but here's how it turns out if you put it into a rectangular pan. Um, today we're gonna make it in a loaf pan and I'll show you a little bit. I'm gonna, this is how I like to make it because it comes out kind of like a meatloaf. Um, today I'm making this for a friend of ours, Mallory Harcourt, who just had her baby. So I'm gonna be putting it into a disposable uh, loaf pan. You might wanna do something like that too because it makes a great gift. Now this recipe is super easy and it's really, really fast and it's also a great way to use up any leftover rice that you have. That's kind of how it was developed, is to use that extra rice because you, know, you never know what you're gonna use with rice. Now I also like to use a food processor um, as often as I can because it makes things really easy and some of you may have fancy food processors this is a Hamilton Beach pro food processor that I think I bought for about $60 and what I like about it is that it's got this wide mouth so you can put things in without having to chop them up very finely once they're going um, but this recipe is so simple that you can really just put everything right into the food processor so the first thing that we're going to use is that rice that we were talking about and I'm going to use two cups of rice and you can adjust this if you've got a bigger loaf pan like that first one that I showed you that's a pretty big loaf pan so I, um, when I made this the first time I made about a, a one and a half times the recipe so I've got two cups of rice I'm going to add a little bit more because I'd like to not be too exact and then walnuts and walnuts are great to get into anything you eat they're brain food um, some people say that the way things are shaped is what organ in your body that they're that they're um, beneficial for and if you look at a walnut it's shaped like your brain so I like to get as many walnuts in my diet as I can and we're going to use one and a half cups of walnuts and as you see I'm a very exact measure okay then it says to use a half of a medium sized onion well I had this big onion so I just took off the end of it and I can dump the whole thing into this food processor or if I want, I can just cut it up a little bit and put it in like that. Voila, half of an onion. And I like more pungent flavor, so this is a little bit more than probably a half. Same thing with the basil. It calls for a half a cup of basil, but I'm gonna put in a little bit more than that because I really like the smell of fresh basil. And we grew this right on our tower garden. If you have a tower garden, I love the basil that comes off of it. It's just, it's beyond, beyond, beyond fresh. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add um, five tablespoons of any type of milk product. I used almond milk, but you could use soy or oat milk, whatever you like or whatever you have on hand. I'm adding that to the liquid. And then I'm going to use, it calls for soy sauce, but I'm actually going to use um, gluten-free tamari and it's low sodium as well. I'm, I'm a big watcher of sodium, I don't know about you. The sodium content on this is, um, this is considered low sodium <laughs> and it's got 710 milligrams of sodium, which is really a lot. Um, your daily allotment of sodium should, in milligrams should be equal to the number of calories that you're having. So if you're eating a 2,000 calorie a day diet, you shouldn't get any more than 2,000 milligrams of sodium. A good way to measure that is that you look at the caloric content of whatever you're eating and then it should have equal to the amount of milligrams of sodium or less. So um, with soups, you'll really see that it's out of balance. Of course, with condiments, it's really gonna be out of balance. Um, one thing I like to teach people too about reading labels is, um, you know how Bragg's um, um, aminos say that they're so much less sodium than soy sauce? And what the truth of it is, is that it's the measuring amount. So in most soy sauces or tamaris, it measures one tablespoon. If you look on the back of Bragg's, it's one teaspoon. So you really wanna make sure that you're savvy when you're reading, when you're reading labels. So we're gonna use two tablespoons of this. And um, one of my little tricks is to have, I'm not, like a really uh, accomplished chef, but I, I do like to do things quickly, and I love this Pampered Chef a measuring spoon. I'm not a Pampered Chef rep, but I like it because it adjusts. So you see here, here's a tablespoon, and it goes all the way down to a teaspoon. So you only have to have one tablespoon, one uh, measuring spoon, and you don't have to worry about all those ones that get lost in your drawer. So we're gonna use two tablespoons of tamari. Just gonna add that. 
There we go. And that's it. So how many ingredients was that? We had rice, basil, walnuts, onion, soy sauce, and, uh, and almond milk. That's it. So six ingredients. And then all we do is put the cover onto the food processor to so line up the little locking things. And we're going to blend this. Notice that it won't go on unless you have it locked on all the way. I suppose that's a safety precaution. And of course, I'm having a difficult time making that work. Shoot. This is where practice would come in handy, huh? I just washed this and I'm wondering if I got it too hot and I'm not being able to, to close it up. Okay then. There we go. Plug that in. Huh. Sorry guys, we're having some technical difficulties. so much for my handy dandy cooking recipe. I'm going to get my food processor fixed and I'm going to make that all work. But suffice it to say, it's going to come out looking like a pate. And you could actually eat it like that because there's, unlike meatloaf, there is no meat in it. It's just nuts. And it does taste really good as a pate. But I'm going to um, put it into this loaf pan, either one like this or the one that I'm making for Mallory like this. And then I'm going to bake it at a 325 degree oven, which I've already preheated, and it's going to come out looking very much like this. Now, as I said, this is in a rectangular pan. You can see that it's a little bit thinner, and I, I like it like that because I, I can use it for dips. I'm going to use it on crackers. I like these rice thins that are from Trader Joe's. You can also put it into little endive boats, or you can use uh, you know, crackers or celery or anything like that. Now, one other little tip that I've learned from my friend Christy Tom is to make a mock um, egg salad. This is made with, just like you'd make an egg salad, but with tofu. And I've got all sorts of vegetables in it. I always try to hide as many vegetables into stuff as I can. And so I've got celery, pickles, cucumbers, carrots, red cabbage, um, whatever I had in the fridge. And then I'm going to add some garlic and some red onion to give it a little more color. And then um, I use Veginase, and you can also add some Dijon mustard if you like. Um, you can use vegan aioli if you're trying to keep it vegan. But I'll put that on top of it, and it makes it really, really, really delicious. So I'll post the recipe for both of these things um, once we get done with this. But you're going to put it into the oven at 325 and bake for an hour. You really can't screw it up because, like I said, it's not meat. And this makes a great meal. Um, my friend Shannon Sutherland, who might be listening to this, has told me that she's actually serve this as meatloaf to people and, and people can't tell the difference. Now I don't, I, I would have a hard time buying that, but it is absolutely delicious. I hope you'll try this. I'm getting ready to work out right now. And when I'm done working out, my walnut basil loaf will be done and I'll be ready for a really great lunch. So I hope that you enjoyed this recipe and I'm going to get my food processor working. Little technical difficulty. Not quite ready for prime time yet, am I? But um, thanks for watching and would love to hear your comments.